Ladies and gentlemen, coming on stage now, we've got a piece called Fight for Your Man. Please welcome. Wendell Etienne and Teresa Hope. Fight for your man. Give them a big round of applause. Hey ya! And the next time, don't play your man handling me here. And on my right. All right, Mrs. Ram Logan, your case finished. Hey, you are Shano. All this is your fault. My fault? Yes. It's because of you, I end up in front of the magistrate. Matilda, you end up in front of the magistrate because you bust the young girl head. I was fighting for my man. You was jealous. And besides, wasn't much of a fight. <laughs> You're sure right? You see why I don't like to eat your coconut drops? Why? Is that your boss, the young girl head weight? I was aiming for she chest. And hit she in she head? Well, she duck. Good <laughs> Lord. It's a good thing, though. Eh? Yes. She nearly gave a panorama special. What the hell is a panorama special? A police cut us. Oh, oh, oh. Matilda, I just see your face turn beast. Eh? What it is that possess you? Is it when she was watching you with lust in she eye? Yes, and you stare she down with the ampy in yours. <laughs> I was going on walk for you know. Eh? Next thing I hear she calling you sexy pops. Well, it's not my fault the big man above was generous with my looks. Hello? You start to know. You still have your shirt again. Oh. You still have your shirt. Oh God, not the drops, Matilda. What? The last time I bite one of your drops, my dentures shift. Everything is a joke. Your drops is serious business? Jonesy. Jonesy, you encourage the young girl. Oh gosh, Matilda, you, you know how nice it does feel to know that you're still attractive in the market? So I should go back to the market? <laughs> to sell yam. To move my goods. Matilda, you couldn't move them goods with a clearance sale. <laughs> you know I should have left you with a little bitch. Oh, yo, 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 it's sweet, it's sweet. Don't you know what happened? You just ball leave me with the little bitch and I nearly wet myself. <laughs> oh, God, Jonesy. <laughs> that little girl you have enough to be a daughter. According to you, she old enough to be my bitch. Yeah, besides, will you can do it your whole tail. Ah, girl. Old broom does know the corners. Mm -hmm, yes. yes. But the handle is easy to break. All your ass. <laughs> Soon as all your old man cross six say, all your willing to rob cradle. Uh, don't watch me anyway. She that was tackling me, she want to rob the rocking chair. You have no respect for your age. You, you have no respect for yours. But what does that mean? All the girl do was give me a little smile, eh? But look at you, you choke your skirt in your underwear and you're squaring up to fight. If she was so innocent, why she fight her? You didn't see her face? I and all nearly run. You know, you should feel proud to know it's still a woman willing to fight for you. Proud? You rushed the girl looking like a pit bull on drugs. I was damn blasted, Vex. Yeah, so Vex, you didn't even see the two police stand up right by the doubles, man. <laughs> And you know, before the two jackass called the little hole, they looked to grab me. Uh, you will go down in history, though. For what? You is the first senior citizen to defend yourself in a court of law. Ooh, yeah. I do that real good, you know, boy. Eh? <laughs> you know, the little bit of law and order real pay off. I do that. I was like a real lawyer. But I could get silk. <laughs> but you couldn't even get polyester. What shit you talking? They throw the case because the girl ain't come. Mm -hmm. Should I get a cut ass? Yes, you is mm. one back analyst. You ain't proud of me? Proud? For you're... defending your honor? Matilda, you get on like a ass in the road and end up in front of the magistrate dressed up like a circus horse. <laughs> what? see. If you was close to any hearts of honor, you could have charged five dollars a ride. Chonzi! Matilda, what get into you, eh? What spirit did take you? Look how you behave and embarrass yourself. What it is? Was love. That's what it was? I didn't make it out, you know. You know, sometimes my mind is wonder, thinking if you would do the same for me. You shouldn't do that. Do what? Let your mind wander. It's too small to go out by itself. You can say what you want. I know I was fighting for. Yes, and you're just rushing. 
Suppose the girl was a black belt in karate. Hey, hey. Me, I know the meaning of the word fair. You ain't know the meaning of most words. You feel you could have got an insult. You ain't insulting me, you know, just because I'm coke here. I let the girl uh, pay you a little attention. Uh, uh, excuse you. Don't blame the girl. She didn't stand a chance. Mm -hmm. You ain't see your man? Mm -hmm. I am dark and handsome. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. You have that right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Only when it's dark, you handsome. Let me tell you something. If I had a face like yours, I wouldn't insult nobody, you know. Excuse you? Yes. I is a pretty natural woman. Pretty? Pretty? You know the meaning of that word? If I had your face, I'd never tell nobody hello. I'd have sneak up on them and ball, boo. John C., that's why you like to insult me so in the road. Oh, God. Huh? You don't love me no more, John C. Yes, Matilda, you know I loves you. Look, from the heart of my bottom, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, well, the bottom of me, something coming out my ass here, yes, sir. <laughs> you know I love you. Eh? I will prove I'm willing to prove it. Tell me what to do. Set me free. What? Set me free. What do you mean by that? Well, they say if you love something, you should set it free. If it's yours, it go come back to you. Set me free. Oh God. You get serious, girl. I mean, I'm willing to set you free. It's the comeback part afraid. <laughs> Well then set me free. Me ain't bound to come back. Matilda, you like who peace, you go always come back. <laughs> you know you couldn't last a day without me. I could barely last a day with you. You think you could get any young girl to take care of you the way I just take care of you? Oh, Wait, the way you say take care of you is something like a hitman. <laughs> Everything is a joke. Well, you ought to have a sense of humor to survive these days, you know. Eh? Humor me, Jonesy. Humor me. What? Humor me. All right, all right. Anything except this set free dotishness. I could do anything for you. Anything, yeah? But it's a one time affair. Eh? Anything. Make a jail for me. Like the two hours you spend in the courthouse, add your brain. You ain't making a jail for me? No. You're not doing it? Hell no. What happened to the one time offer? It expired. Give me two good reasons why you can't make a jail for me. I'm too good looking and I like soup. But John Z, you're getting conjugal visit. Yes, what is you will come? You know I nearly make a jail for you. A jail for me? Hello? I did sign up as a witness for the young girl, you know. I was well looking forward to spraying a little garlic sauce on Chiboga. Oh, you so wrong, huh? Eh? Mm -hmm. I'm gone. Where are you going? I'm going home and pack. pack? I left in you. Oh, God, no, no, Matilda, don't leave me now, man. What? I left in you. No, all right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I didn't mean it. Look, I'm going to do anything for you. Anything? Anything. Yeah, I, you yeah. said that the last time. Well, I didn't mean it then. I mean it now. Anything for you. Mm -hmm. Right? Anything you say? Eh? Yes. Mm. What? Mm -hmm. what mm. the... Matilda, how the hell you pass through the courthouse with that in your bag? I don't study that no man. You could do anything in jail. Two hours in a prisoner's dock and she's a seasoned criminal. Take the thing, no man. Look. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Here, take it. Oh, let me. Matilda, what are I supposed to do with this? Well, you'll see the next man. Eh? The pass in the road. Uh -huh. And watching me uh -huh. with lust in the eye. Uh -huh. Bossy him. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The next man mm -hmm. to pass here and watch you with lust in the eye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But tell you no longer I go out to stand up here with this shooting stone. <laughs> look, look, look. Eh? Look, Amanda. Eh? Look, 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 Miss Lady, uh, you know a fella named Morgan John? All the way? No? Eh? Look, look! Wait. Look, man, look, look! Eh, eh. But what? Yes. But he had. Well, they rarely say every bread had a piece of rancid cheese. Mm -hmm. He's watching your property. Yes, all right. Mm -hmm. Hold that there for mm -hmm. me. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Watch on people hard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Aim straight, right. you know. Aim straight. <laughs> Don't say. Eh? Don't say. Eh? What are you taking so long? Well, I'm taking him. I want to hit him in the eye. In the eye? Yeah, I'm doing him a favor. A favor? Yeah, if he's watching you with lust in the eye, something wrong with the eye. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Eh? <laughs> Eh? You had jump? Yeah, what? No, what? I have no stone where that come from. Oh, God, Matilda, you can't bust the man's head. Uh-uh. Eh? I ain't busting his head. Oh, so, who the stone is for? This is for you. Oh, God. You know what his head? You go take this stone. No, no, don't last me, no, man. You can protect you, me. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to hit him. I'm going to hit him. I'm going to hit him. Pia, sorry, yeah. You're going to have to take the last part now. Tony, Tony, Tony. What? No, don't no, 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 let me no, go, that man. No, no, no. It's time to pelt. No, Tony. Tony, what? Tony, you can't hit the man. Why I can't hit him? The piece done. The skit done? Yes, we time up. Pa, you get away, you bitch. Oh. 